pictures when you don't want it to. All right. Then. Oh, it started? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, hi, YouTube. So, long time no see regarding uh, what the title says below, uh, Teenage Chronicles. This is now four years later. Uh, we initially, well, attempted to do these uh, Teenage Chronicles of my son's high school years. And one Sunday led to another Sunday of forgetting. And now we're four years later. And um, I was feeling a bit nostalgic watching some old videos of past YouTubers who have um, not been doing videos for a long time. And then made me want to look at some of my old videos with my son which he was so cute at 14 now my son is 17 will be 18 this year and is a senior in high school right now and um, he was watching the videos with me and decided to do a recap which is not something I wanted to do um, I'm pre pooing my hair which is why I have a scarf on but um, this is something he wanted to do you see, he's taking pictures. You know what I say is capture? Yeah, I, I, I see it. Pictures, pictures. It's going to be like pictures, pictures that I got to edit. But anyway. So, um, wanted this to really be kind of like spontaneous like the other two videos. And at this point, I just will let my son talk about what he'd like to talk about regarding his four years of high school or challenges that he may have faced um we'll like to dive into some things like sex <laughs> um peer pressure dr drugs things that goes on with kids in high school and he can choose to share whatever he wants to share i will respect his privacy um and allow him to express himself which I Off have, the record, this is the first time I heard the, the topics. I know she was going to go that far. So, I've always allowed my son to express himself, sometimes to my detriment, because in doing so, uh, we can butt heads quite a bit and disagree on a lot of things and um, have a lot of conflict, which I'm sure many mothers out there who have teenage sons and daughters can relate so, with that being said, take it away, son. Sorry, I'm eating some organic Oreos because, you know, mom likes to, she likes to go on her organic craze now. She got to do it. I got to do it. But, um, first, before I get in high school, I want to say I joined the natural hair team with my mom. So, uh, I've been growing my hair out since about... Uh, what what was it August September? I guess August. He has, I have four a, kind of three C four a ish hair. He has four a four b hair, um, tightly tightly coiled, um, very soft and curly but um, tightly coiled. So, all right, now on to high school. So, I guess from the last time that you heard, you know, high school was. All brand new. It was so good, so fun. All those drama and stuff that happened. And uh, after all that time passed, the high school, man, it's just... I, I can't wait to get out of there, but at the same time, like, I don't. Like, I feel like high school is one of those places where, like, you can interact with your friends and everybody. And, like, I'm trying to think the best way I can say this. Kids say that they don't like going to high school. That's just because, like, of the work. And honestly, the work's not even that bad. It's just, I don't know, I feel like it's just a place where we can just go to interact with people. Because if not, we'd just be bored in the house. But, yeah, edu education is important, too. But, let's see, how how's high school been going? Since the last time you met me, obviously, I grew up, right? <laughs> <laughs> obviously. Um... I went through bullying, right, as most kids will have felt through a little bit. Uh, I went through bullying. 
you know, went through all my crazes. Cra- I said crazes. Is that it? Yeah, the craze. Went through my crazes that uh, everybody goes through. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not as innocent as I used to be. My mom hates that too. She, it kills her inside. But, you know, everybody has to grow up. And like just the way I grew up, I walked down a different path. I stayed on, I stayed mostly on the path that she wanted, but you know, I kind of just turned it in my, my, the way I want to be. I got my own, my own uh, wants and goals, as everybody should have. Um, give me a topic, because I can't just go on, I'm going to just say random stuff. Peer pressure. How has peer pressure influenced your teenage years being in high school? For peer pressure, honestly, peer pressure was never really a problem with me because I personally, I'm not the type to let somebody else try to make me do something they want to do to try and look cool because I never thought that was a cool thing to do. I personally would like, if I want to do, if I do it, it's because I either wanted to do it or I just wasn't thinking about it correctly. So, um, when it comes to peer pressure, it's, I don't know, it, I never really fell for it. I might have did some stupid stuff because, you know, friends were doing it and I wanted to either be down or I just wanted to, like, I ain't feel like leaving. So, I did do stuff, but it wasn't really peer pressure, it was just stupid decisions. Nothing too, too serious, but you know, dumb things that could have gotten me in a lot of trouble. So, um, what are some of your best and worst memories of high school? <sighs> mm. I mean, he's still in high school. He's a senior, but this is like his last year, so he's got four years of memories. If you can name maybe best and worst. Um, honestly, honestly, my high school life really just started because before a lot of the things that kids were doing or had the like opportunity to try and do in high school, I'm just really now starting to get the opportunity to do it because, you know, love my mom to death, but she's a bit overprotective. You know, she, she used to like be like, oh, you're not allowed to go to parties because I know what things happen if you want to go to somebody's house. I got to call their parent. You have to have talks. You have to schedule it. You know, stuff like that. But eventually, as I got older, I mean, you can't really stop it. I'm a, Eventually, I'm going to do it. You know, because now, now it's at the point where I just, I get, I go, I get home from school. I don't even come home sometimes. I just go to my friend's house. She calls me, where you at? I'm at my friend's house where they live as long as it you know it's not too far and I got a way to get home it's all right but I, I, know, I know my limits I don't I don't push them for the most part but um best best moments in high school mm. all right now I know this isn't I know I shouldn't be proud of this because she she <laughs> she was so mad at me when when, the, when she got this phone call but one last year in school, it was breakfast, and where I live, where I live, the section I live, we live like in an apartment complex, and there's a bunch of neighborhood complexes, and one of the neighborhood complex, the kids there, they like to play a game where they jump you for no reason, like you just be walking, and like they'll tackle you, just start punching you, and jump you, and they'll run away. So it was breakfast this one morning, and they tried jumping this really tall kid, and. I'm not going to say his name, but they tried to jump in. And when they tried to run, I tripped one of them. And he fell on his face in front of everybody in the cafeteria. And you everybody, tripped him on purpose? Yeah, on purpose. Hey, you going to try and jump the kid. I'm That's your best you. memory of high school? Look, let me explain, right? So I tripped him. And he ran, right? And the kid that uh, was with him to help jump the tall boy, he grabbed me from behind in a chokehold. And he was like, you know, why you do that? Da, da, da. Like, playing around. Mind you, we're all friends, but, you know, roughhousing breakfast and uh this kid he used to be a close friend of mine but he got up and he pulled the kid off of me and when he pulled the kid off of me the kid i tripped ran over to me he tried to tackle me now at this time i had just finished doing mma so i had fresh out of mma for about a year right so i i know my way around the ground and i know wrestling so he tried to get on top of me we're wrestling we're moving and we get to standing up we're shoving each other we're pushing we're pulling 
And at this time, chairs and tables are being pushed. They're like chairs are falling over, tables being pushed, spread apart. And I don't remember exactly how it happened, but all I know is he tried to pick me up, and I ended up grabbing his arm and I put my arm under his leg, I put him on my shoulders, and I flipped him in the cafeteria in front of everybody. And his feet clapped, and everybody in the cafeteria was like, "Oh!" And like it got caught on video, and people were gonna put on world stars and like that, and like. Everybody was like, oh, y'all, I didn't know Kenny knew how to, like, handle himself like that. Because in my school, like, I ain't no punk. Don't get it wrong. But, I don't know, I'm one of them kids where in the area that we're in, we have a lot of people that move out of the hood and they move here. Like, if you want to move out of the hood but stay close to your family that's in the hood, you move to where I live. And the kids around here, their, men their mentality is, like, if you have a problem, you can fight about it. But I'm the one that's like I, I use my head. I don't. I'm not quick to anger. I'm not quick to just move in and act because I I think about what I do before I do it. So nobody really thought of me as the type of person that knew how to fight or knew how to really handle myself or do anything. So when I slammed the kid in front of everybody, kind of got a lot of respect and every I was like the talk of Twitter and Facebook and everything for like days, and it was funny. But uh, worst. It, the worst. You really want me to say? Probably when I uh, first told my mom I smoked weed. It's probably one of the worst moments ever. Cause, yeah. It's one of the worst for me too. Yeah, it was one of the wow, worst. Wow, you sharing that? Yeah, there were a lot of tears, and uh, you know, trust trust was broken a little bit, and it was it was a hard time to go through. Okay. Another question. Right. Um. Well, this is really off the cuff. I, I mean, you know. You know, this is your last. Down. Well, I mean, I didn't want it to really be scripted. So, you know, this is your last year as a senior. Four years have come and gone very quickly. What are your lessons? What lessons have you learned since being in high school? for these past four years that you decisions you made and consequences to those decisions and lessons you've gotten from them don't let that time fly past you and move quick because four years goes by fast like you don't really think about it but like I've been thinking about this recently it's my last year of high school and half the school year is already over and it feels like it just started i can still remember when the you know first day of school i can still remember times in my freshman year i can still remember memories from when i was younger and it feels like it was just yesterday and it's crazy when i look back at it and i'm like yo i'm 17 i'm about to be 18 i'm about to be out of high school like time really does fly past like you can't you can't just let it slip out of your hands because if you do, it's going to take a lot to backtrack. But, um, that, when it comes to friends, don't ever put your trust into somebody too fast. And just because you've been close or friends with somebody for an amount of time doesn't mean that they won't switch up on you eventually, especially for the little things. You should turn, you should spot and uh, try to spot and notice the things that you can tell about a person in the long haul. Like, if you guys ever get into an argument over something that's just little or stupid, and y'all have problems, y'all beef for longer than what you think should be the time, like, that you think should be a respectable time for whatever y'all arguing about, then, then, in the long haul, this is probably going to be a problem. Mm. I've learned... <laughs> I learned females bring nothing but trouble <laughs> for the most... <laughs> for the most part. Like, I don't know. I, I know it's not... I know it's not true for every female. But for a lot of the females I met, don't... Uh, don't listen to half the things they say. Because they're either lying trying
trying to get you caught up or in trouble or just trying to start stuff. And uh, what else have I learned? That's it. I'm, I mean, for right now, that's all I can think of. Um, I think we're gonna cut it here, and um, you guys tell us if you want us to kind of continue, at least for his last year, um, and, and we'll be sure to follow through. I mean, he's only got a few months left of high school, and um, I did actually say to him, I wish that we would have continued these chronicles because it may have. Um, eliminated a lot of friction that my son and I have right now and and I know most parents and teenagers go through this because they're learning themselves they're finding their identity and finding out what they like and, and don't like and how to handle situations that life happens with and um, you know I kinda regret not continuing the Chronicles throughout his whole high school year because obviously this is a forum for me to get to know more about what he's been going through and I think as teenagers grow up they I don't want to say hide but they rely on their friends to be their confidant as opposed to their parents and my son and I we had a really really strong bond um, when he was a freshman and as the years went on and some of the conflicts that we were going through that bond kind of um, weakened and he doesn't talk to me as much as he used to if at all really sometimes and about issues I mean so um, so this I think would have been a nice a good forum to keep that line of communication open so I would say to any parent who has a child who's starting high school keep that line of communication open and um, be open enough and receptive enough for your teenager to come to you and talk to you because they're going through a lot. It's a lot different than when we were their age. And these are lessons that I'm learning as a first time parent. You know, there's no manual, you know, and this is my only child. So um, I did the best I could. And I think for the most part, he has grown up to be um, a very bright, um, articulate, compassionate, uh, strong-willed individual who still has some learning and growing to do and only life's experiences will do that and um, yeah so if you guys you know want to continue seeing these videos I think we should try to you agree I'm down. you know every week or maybe every other week and um, just kind of touch base with us until he graduates. <laughs> okay? So, is there anything else you want to say? Put something in the comment about what you want us to talk about. Like, any sort of topics or anything. I'm I'm going to talk about uh, what's been going on in my week, too. But I want other subjects for you guys to talk about. And I'm going to make sure that we try to hit on them. And, uh, yeah. Trust me, there's a lot more life stories. Just because I might have sounded a little dull this time doesn't mean that uh I don't have things to say trust me I got stories oh boy okay all right so um thanks you guys for watching and um you guys have a wonderful rest of the night Walking Dead premieres tonight yes oh my <laughs> okay oh speaking of Sunday I gotta work on my mixtape anyway okay mm -hmm. bye